we are very happy to see you here in San Gimignano because you travel a lot, huh? Um, I'm traveling, I'm tra always traveling. 2017, it's been super busy. We, I moved the studio, the family. In the meanwhile, a, a couple of exhibitions in France, a solo show in Paris, a solo show in Istanbul, and uh, in Venice during the biennial, so quite busy. So nature is part of your creativity. So tell me something about this work of art that is so interesting and... You have this lightness of the steel micro-modules that are a, a jewel. And uh, the, the game between day and night is because the two nature, from far you see only the daylight, but when you go near to the piece, uh, you discover the other nature. Okay. And all the exhibition is playing around this uh, idea of uh, nature and artifice. My goal is not technology for technology, but it's poetry. The last chance of the, the piece has to be a poetic view of something. What's the name of this special work of art? You the mean, title? You mean the title? Yes! Yeah. Annunciation in Three Frequencies. Wow! <laughs> <laughs> Here in Florence, uh, Renaissance period, it's very popular because nature is very strong and so like uh, the spring of Botticelli, so I see here the plaint of myrrh is similar. Why? I grew up in Siena, so this uh, 10 years long time of approach to the ancient art, to the, to the medieval and Renaissance art, uh, gave to me a sort of luggage that's coming out during the time. In that sense, this historical background is always overlapping the contemporary. I think the metaphysical goal, the, the poet, poetical approach that I have is very near to that, that time in the sense of uh, um, meraviglia, wandering. The goal is a relationship between poetry, science, and nature. This is the base of the cultural yes. relationship of Renaissance. We are trying to translate something in another language, but always with the same problem.